so this blog, the ontology task case structure is one that many have used. And it basically uh, indicates that a good way to uh, have everything that you say be cohesive and ordered in one direction is to uh, have your content, your, your whole essay uh, be making a case for your contention. And the easiest way to do that is to, or the most effective way to do that is to create a syllogism. And a syllogism is a three, two premise, one conclusion argument. For example, all philosophers, philosophers are ambitious. Socrates is a philosopher. It logically follows that Socrates is ambitious. If this is your contention, these can be premises uh, made toward that contention, topic sentences, um, and therefore your entire essay will be ordered around proving this. So this will be uh, your contention that goes at the last line of your introduction, and each of these um, will be topic sentences. So body paragraph one will need only to concern itself with uh, proving this correct, and body paragraph two will need only concern itself with proving that this is correct. And if this is correct and this is correct, it logically follows then that your contention must be correct. And that will make your writing more logical. But a lot of people, probably 90% of people have difficulty coming up with syllogism. So syllogism is just that. So uh, the easiest way that uh, I found to do it, it's a bit of a, a cheap way to do it, but I guess Acer aren't going to know, um, is. Mm -hmm. So well, let's let's work with this one then, shall we? I might, I might get rid of this essay here and we'll just, we'll work with this. So this is what you want to pr prove. Mm -hmm. That's the one, yep. So willingness to endure discomfort. Yeah. Great. Um, and so hopefully the, the prompt that Asa gave you uh, will be something to do with that and, and that this will be an insight from your personal experience um, that, that you're going to subsequently discuss. So uh, all sentences or most sentences in English have a subject. Um, this is the subject, a mm -hmm. verb yep. and an object. Okay. So social change, okay. yeah. So actually I'm going to get you to do it and I'll, uh, maybe I'll, can you do it and I'll talk through what you're doing and we'll see if you can, um, we'll see if you can. Yeah, read sounds good. All right. So from what you told me before, so the subject would be willingness, I'm guessing. So I'm going to. This uh, is actually a bit of a tricky one. Look for where the work backwards from the object. What's the object of the sentence? So I'm guessing the object is social change. That's right. And that makes the mm -hmm. verb. Uh, discomfort. No, sorry. Endure, endure. No, the verb yeah, in this one is creates. Creates. Got it, got it. Okay. So this is operating as the subject, willingness to endure discomfort. The willingness to endure discomfort. Creates social change. Creates is the word. And then social so change. It's basically is. something does something. This something What's just happens to be a bit big. Willingness to endure discomfort. So so we're gonna get just the the we're gonna cleave the sentence in two and pop that there. Willingness mm -hmm. to endure discomfort. Sounds good. Uh, I'm just doing it now. So so willingness to endure discomfort. Yep. And then we'll just do dots. We'll come back to that. And then we're just going to grab the rest of the sentence and put it in premise two. All right. So paste that in. Yep. Yes. So now the aim here is what we want to do is find a middleman, right? Willingness mm -hmm. to endure discomfort creates social change through some indirect process, right? Mm -hmm. And yep. whatever we put here, uh, if we then, how do I explain that? Maybe we'll just go and do it. So what we're looking for okay, yeah. is something that willingness to endure discomfort leads to or creates that then, whatever that thing is, that thing creates social change. Right, okay. So mm -hmm. let's have a think together about what willingness to endure discomfort leads to or results in. Okay, so willingness to endure discomfort right uh, maybe a sense of resilience to uh Good. to endure hardships i guess or to experience hardships so maybe creates re resilience somehow I like um, that. yep willingness to do discomfort correct but remember though it's not just I, I agree that discomfort creates resilience yeah remember that's willingness to endure discomfort mm, it's willingness to endure discomfort creates so what is yeah. the willingness to endure discomfort or stoicism basically to be stoic Mm. Um, perhaps willingness to endure discomfort is uh... does that create a sense of courage at all um... yeah but maybe it's an expression of a sense of courage mm. it is an expression perhaps, it, perhaps it's just courageous willingness to endure discomfort is courageous it's courageous yeah that makes sense 
So let's pop that in. Willingness to induce comfort is great. So what we're looking for here, um, for those listening, is we essentially want to make this sentence as, I'm not sure insightful is the right word, but reflective of the psychometric qualities that we know uh, ACER are looking for. So whether that's uh, humility, sorry, humanity, uh, compassion, empathy, uh, warmth, critical reasoning, logic, altitude, neutrality. We want to say something that uh, reflects um, on us as being the kinds of people that ACER would want to let become doctors. Um, and you're going to variously be able to achieve that in any given sentence. This video is concerning itself principally with how to, the simplest way to create a formula for uh, a syllogism. Um, so let's just stick to that. But ideally, you want this sentence to be as, as high quality as possible. Nevertheless, once we've got this, all we do is copy paste this down here. Will you do this comfort is courageous? To be courageous or courageousness. Create social change. Uh, yeah, courageous. Create social change. And so, therefore, willingness to reduce comfort, create social change. Okay. Now, if this isn't making sense, you probably need to already be familiar with um, the reasons for wanting to create a syllogism um or have tried to have done it previously and struggled uh, but if you are you can see that this is a formula this is a sound argument willingness to endure discomfort is courageous to be courageous create social change therefore indirectly willingness uh, to endure discomfort must create social change so what we're looking for is simply a middleman that links this to this the contentions here we go i'm just going to look at this going against the natural process prevents us from having a complete human experience jump to jump to where you see my marker yep I am jumping now. Cool. So, so this is one of your old essays. Going against the natural processes. I mean, aside from this being horribly vague, uh, going mm -hmm. against the natural processes. Um, we'll step over that. That has its own problems. Yeah. But just, yeah. just insofar as just wanting to see if this works. Going against natural... So this is the subject. So I'm going to put mm -hmm. this here with a dot, dot, dot. Then I'm going to go dot, dot, dot. Going in, and then we're going to put the rest of the sentences prevents us from having yeah this will work this will work yeah subject so going against so natural processes work. does something no the problem is i don't i don't know what you mean by going against the natural processes but what, um, is, what is a natural process right so like <laughs> you know, let's just pretend we know what it's going against natural processes um uh, uh leads cr creates um Uh, lacks flow. I'm thinking like lacks flow or something. And the problem is I don't know what this means. Um, yeah, I think I think the ambiguity is in the natural processes itself. Eh? So, yeah. guessing um processes. Let's just like literally shows ignorance of the wisdom behind them. <laughs> I'll be just <laughs> making response. <laughs> the wisdom behind them. <laughs> right, how about that? And then uh, ignorance of the wisdom behind them. I so, said. Ignorance of the wisdom of natural processes prevents, prevents us from having complete. Therefore, experience. going against yeah, that works. Therefore, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's a sound that argument. Works. Bam. Okay, so I haven't established whether or not this works in every case, but basically, if you just take the the subject of a sentence before the verb, put it here, put the rest of the sentence here, and then find something that connects them. Or, or complete this sentence in such a way that it's congruent with the next sentence, copy paste that down there. Now you have a, a sound syllogism and that can be the backbone of a task A essay. Um, so this will be end up being your topic sentence one, this will be topic sentence two. Your body paragraph one will prove this topic sentence such that by the end of body paragraph one, uh, you can say or have made it a, a case for this being correct. Um, body paragraph two will work to prove this topic sentence such that by the end of body paragraph two, uh, we'll have a, a reasonable case for this being correct. Um, and uh, subsequently, um, the, the entire essay and everything that is done within that essay will be ordered in the common direction of making a case for your contention, uh, which will make your writing logical. So anyway, awesome. go, and, go and test that, guys, and then um, we'll see if problems arise as a result of it. But I think that's it's a bit of a cheap way of going about it, but it gets the job done. Um, all right, cool. Bro, i got to bounce. My next student is soon. Thanks for that. Um, no worries, Michael. 
I might start okay. recording more of our sessions because for some reason it's always you. It's you more than anyone else. Like, I guess I'm always thinking really? of ways to get. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <pretty laughs> sure. I'm always like, I wish that was recorded. Um, good. You make me think no, of creative ways. Michael. All right, bro. No, I will awesome. Thanks, just Michael. I'll see you uh, in a couple of weeks, I guess. Yeah, no worries. See you then. All right. Catch up. Awesome. See you, Michael. Thank you. Bye.